This video shows how to read or scan a website with uh, WPF and um, with the HTML agility pack with web requests. So first I show uh, you an example. Here I have a website with a lot of uh, freelancer jobs and I want to get all those results in my table. So I print here, click here on my start button and the start button gets uh, in a lock screen all first the first result, this one, and then the second, third and so on. There, so these are the results which I got there and I simply typed the, uh, the title of the point. So uh, how does this work? When we are in our WPF application, we first have to embed the HTML agility pack. That's the most uh, common package where you may analyze an HTML document. So go to the references and make here uh, manage new get package and then take add the HTML agility pack from this uh, ZZZ uh, projects. This is the most common uh, deal it's, um, and it's the easiest way to navigate through the nodes. Now, when you have embedded this, you will get this entry in the under references HTML agility packs. So now in your website, uh, that's my SAML site main page. There I have a button and text box. Here the text box with the URL where I may start and the lock screen. This is also a text text box where I write all my results into. And uh, now when, when I click on to the button and say start, then this one will start and it will go to buttons, button start click. Now what are we doing there? In our code page, we first have to embed some stuff. Uh, so this is the system IO for a stream reader. We need a system.net for net request or web, web request, net, net request, and we need the HTML agility pack, which is additional for reading HTML documents. So first here I said, okay, give me the URL, which is in the, uh, in this text box. And then I say, uh, create a new, um, HTML document from HTML agility pack with an own method, which I will explain after this afterwards, uh, simply by giving the website. So the website gives me an HTML document. What is this? When I am there and go with the right mouse key to uh, scrutinize, then I will see um, this stuff. And for example, in this case, I say, show me what is behind this link. So I see at the right side, I will see there. This is an uh, link, an a ref, a h ref, an anchor. And now I'm going up to the tree and uh, the biggest block there is the big block means this is a list element with a class job, type, uh, job result. So there are all those list elements. And in the list element, I have this job details. And in there, there's a class job title. And in, in the job, uh, job title, there's a job description and all the stuff. And in job title, there's the first element is, is the, H, the anchor href or link. So what we have, this structure, the entire structure is the HTML document. And that's what we say, give me the HTML document uh, by of this URL. Now, first I jump to my, uh, for getting the results. I say, okay, from this document, give me all nodes, document, document node, which is the first node. There's the first node. The first node means this base node, this, uh, uh, HTML element, the top node. From the top node, 
there's always there always has to be a top node but it's uh, written in html from the document node give me all select all nodes that's uh that's the syntax of of at the html document um agility pack document node select all nodes which are list elements front slash front front slash means from the base node so uh, all nodes means all nodes with a class this all the syntax means it's x path with the class uh, equals backslash uh, backslash and apostrophe it means this is a apostrophe or single and there's uh, the name so it uh, encapsulates the name uh, so now what we have there give me all lists simply type this list all list elements with a of with a class job result item so i get a bunch of uh, nodes there and i will say loop through all those nodes they give me the first first uh, give me all nodes of these nodes and from this node from this node select the first single node which is of the type diff class job title and from there we have uh, we need it from the job result item the first class and there's uh, you have to add this uh, point there point from slash front slash which means search from only the sub uh, sub elements from there and then give me the class job titles if you if it's not null then uh, look for the first single node first single node first single node which is a so it's anchor there give me the inner text give me the link h reference by get attribute value and then we have a, a relative address which means front slash something else and we built the total um, url and then that's what i said in this case this is uh, fx log is my own method uh, to show and update the value or the text on my uh, field now we started there here with this document read that entire page this is uh, default when working with web requests simply go there and say uh, system.net web request create a web, re web request and so this one asks the website uh, of a web uh, of a url and we want this get back from this object from this uh, asking web request we want the response so we go into the internet and we want the response of that so this is http web response and then we say uh, now we have the response we need a stream from there and we need a stream read reader which reads that stream simply take this block and then you say my dear text reader read until the end and then read everything in a big string so this is a big uh, text and from there we say html document a new html document of agility pack load as html since this is html it has it will be loaded as uh, like xml so it's html and then all that stuff is done and we will come back as return as a document so this was the example how to re read a website with with um with a web request and a web response and html agility pack i will write all my code as a code example on my codeoco.com at a net framework somewhere here in uh, wpf you will find the link below the video